I found these earbuds on Amazon. At the time of the purchase, they were actually the number one seller in earbuds, the number four seller in MP3 and MP4 player accessories, and the number six seller in home and audio theater. Plus, they have almost 55,000 reviews. And with a price tag of under $10, I really have to ask myself, why are people buying these? What's going on everybody? Jeremy with Detroit Tech. I was just perusing some of Amazon's top sellers and came across these. They're the Philips HJE12 ErgoFit earbuds. They were priced so cheaply and with so many reviews, with an average of 4.2 stars, I had to get them. I couldn't imagine so many people actually like loving these simply because they're cheap, even if they sound like crap. So I figured I'll take one for the team, you know, for science. So let's go through our four Fs. Finish is up first. They definitely strike me as inexpensive. No fancy splitter for the cable, no gold-plated plug, but they actually feel pretty durable, durable enough at least to take a bit of abuse for as long as, for as long as you can without like actually fraying the wire. So Finish actually gets a two and a half out of five. Utilitarian, but actually not bad, just nothing special. Fit is next. They come with three sizes of rubber tips, no foam tips, and once I found the right size, they actually sat in my ear pretty well. They're so light, it's really easy to just forget you're even wearing them. And without the foam tips, they're actually pretty good. And they are very low profile, so they don't like stick out super far, far out of your ear. So I actually give them a solid four out of five for fit. Fiscalness is next. They're actually under $10. Five out of five, one point. Fidelity comes last. There really aren't any surprises here. The short version is lots of low end and not much high end. Low end doesn't have a lot of detail either. The lack of high ends really kills vocals and makes you wish for more clarity. Uh, stereo separation isn't really a thing at all. They just kind of give you a vague idea of like right or left instead of a single degree of precision. If there's a lot of stuff going on in the song, for sure it definitely gets muddy. But I will say this, they're still better than those Senso Bluetooth um, earbud headphones we reviewed up here. So I'll give these a two out of five. Overall, these get a 3.1 out of five with Fidelity, of course, counting twice. Normally with a score like that, I would say completely steer clear, but with these, I actually won't, at least conditionally. I mean, look, if you want great sound coming into your ear holes, these are not for you at all. But here's where I would actually recommend getting these. Do you have only $10 to spend? Cool, these are good for that. Are you on vacation, you know, you, you lose your earbuds or got mugged or something and just need something to get you through the plane ride home? These will work for that. Do you wanna not hear Dora the Explorer blaring from your kid's tablet? Get these. Basically, if you need a throwaway pair of earbuds, these things are your friend. If you're looking for something actually good, well, you'd wanna look somewhere else but at least they aren't as bad as the Sensos. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. If you thought there is no possible way that these would ever like be good at all, hit the thumbs down. Either way, I wanna know in the comments below, what are the worst sounding pair of earbuds you've ever heard? We'll catch you in the next one.